there's nothing like confrontation in God's work. I have served in Sekutu, KB, and Zanfra when Yerima announced uh, Sharia. <clears throat> and people from the south refused going on new service. And we come on the air and ask them, We are here. Come forward. We met together with Anglican Bishop, Roman Catholic Bishop, Bishaya Paje, Akifenwa, uh, Ekan and uh, Tekan and Ekwa. We met together and formed the uh, um, Religious uh, Corpus Fellowship. That is where we started Anglican uh, Corpus Fellowship, Roman Catholic Fellowship, CSC Fellowship. And we succeeded. And we used Corpus. They printed everywhere and preached the gospel. And we had churches, we built churches, we bought lands. So, uh, having been in such a place, strategic area, the stronghold of uh, Islam, we penetrated and we achieved much in terms of sowing and planting churches. So here is not an exception. So God is doing it, and we are recording a tremendous uh, um, progress and expansion. So this thing that is happening in Nigeria is not a barrier to God. So we are approaching the government, we are talking to them, we are praying, we are full of hope. This thing that is happening in the country is just a distraction. As we focus on God, we are going to tell the story. There was a time it was um, Ghana must go, Ghana must go, Ghana must go. The time changed. But today it is Ghana saying Nigeria go, Nigeria not go. Nigeria is a country with a great uh, destiny. And before long we shall live to tell the story. So we are hopeful and we are confident that God who has started a good work in Nigeria will perfect it. Yeah, there is high inflation in the country. Yes. Yes. Country. yes. How will church intervene? Yes, <clears throat> God is known in the time of persecution and trial. That is when his grace manifests most. So we are talking to our members. We are talking to our members to see this period as a time of a great opportunity. It's a time of great opportunity to talk to them, to preach the gospel, to preach the faith, to embrace God, and to run to God. It's a time of coming closer to God. Because with God, all things are possible. With God, these hard things become easy. So we are coping. Things are getting, uh, as, we, as we see, as we, things are getting worse, secularly. It is a time of renewal of spirit. The spirit is renewed day by day. So through hardship, at times, God makes uh, people know him. So people are knowing God through this starvation, through this hardship. People are running to God. And we are seeing, we are recording a lot of changes. Our, our prayer and word is that people will repent and come to God. If we repent and come to God, difficulties turn to challenges and uh, uh, progress and successes. The way out, number one, is prayer. We must have to pray and see that God intervenes because there are a lot of testimonies coming out from the act of prayers. People pray and God delivered. And beyond that, we need to ask and request that our government should put machinery in place. Because that's the essence of government. It's security of life. Without security, there can be no progress. Without security, there will be no peace of mind. When we sleep, we don't close our eyes. It's a big challenge to us. And so we pray as a church. We pray as a believers. God has been intervening, but there is a place of prayer and there is a place of action. And that action cannot be done unless government rise up to its occasion to please help us. We therefore on this note call on government to please rise up to its occasion of securing life and property in this nation. But the government should rise up to its occasion and secure life and property in this nation. Even the blind know that there is a problem in this nation, especially the security challenges we are having. There is no other problem that can be more uh, acute and serious than security challenges. Uh, like I said, we have been praying as a church. Some few weeks back, we declared three, I mean, uh, days of fasting and prayers, praying fervently for this church 
and I know God is answering. And when church is doing its part, in terms of sensitization, in terms of being security conscious, we urge government as well to play its part. Because the essence of government is to secure life and property. And when they fail in this aspect, I think, <laughs> I don't want us to say we are failing completely. But we still have, the government still has chance to right the wrong, to rise up to occasion, to make sure that all the security challenges, the, the thing has become a household name now. It's becoming a decoration where we say kidnapping, we say arm robbery, we say banditry. Everywhere is becoming a market of this uh, problem. So we urge government to please rise up to occasion and help us and save lives.